So what do y'all think about a fight between Daniel Jacobs and John Ryder? Because it looks like we'll be seeing this fight in early 2022. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So uh, yeah, like I was saying, it looks like we might be seeing this fight between Jacobs and Ryder in a few months. Uh, according to Chris Mannix, who works for The Zone and writes for Sports Illustrated, he uh, recently tweeted out that uh, there are advanced negotiations for uh, Jacobs and John Ryder. And uh, and apparently they now have agreed to terms. They have agreed to terms for February 12th in the UK for Daniel Jacobs debut in the UK and uh, it's going to be at 168 pounds I like this fight I really do I think it's a very good fight it's been a while since we've heard of Daniel Jacobs haven't heard of him since the Chavez fight pretty much um, that was the last time he fought and that was back in November of 2020 no actually did you <laughs> oh my god I'm so stupid the Gabriel Rosado fight. Oh my god. And it, Chris Mannix said it in the freaking tweet. I'm so stupid. Uh, <laughs> um, but it felt like it's been a long time though. It, it felt it felt like it was longer than back in November. Um, yeah, the last time Jacobs was in the ring was against Gabe Rosado back in November of 2020. And uh, that fight, I, I thought Jacobs lost that fight. I'm going to be completely honest. I thought he lost that fight. I thought Rosado got the better of him. Uh, I thought Rosado was beating him to the punch. Rosado should have won that fight. But in the end, Jacobs got the nod. And now here he is possibly fighting against John Ryder. To, and I'm sure a lot of people don't know who he is, especially the American fight fans. Uh, but, you know, British fight fans know who he is. He's a 33-year-old fighter from the UK. 30 and 5. 17 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. He's coming off a win against Jovev Jorko and he fought also Mike Guy. He's he's just been honestly been staying active the past couple years fighting low-key fights. He hasn't really had a big fight since the Callum Smith fight. And in that fight, a lot of people, including myself, thought he arguably won a close fight against Callum Smith. But in the end, the judges, if anything, this scorecard should have gone the other way. But the, other, the judges gave it in favor of Callum Smith. And he gave Smith a tough, tough fight. He really did. And like I said, he arguably won that fight. And now here he is giving a big opportunity to fight Daniel Jacobs in front of British fight fans. And uh, ooh, it's going to be a tough night for Daniel Jacobs. I'm going to tell you guys that much right now. Uh, but yeah, I like this fight. I like it a lot. I'm happy that it looks like it's going to happen. Uh, like I said, Chris Mannix said that um, February 12th, is the uh, date that they already have agreed to terms um so we should be hearing some official news soon and uh and yeah just, just super excited man i'm looking forward to this one i'll keep you guys updated on it i'm so stupid bro i can't believe i forgot about the gabe rosado fight oh my goodness that that totally blanked out on me <laughs> anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks